All right, it's so John here at CrossFit Bluegrass. I'm a physical therapist. We're going to talk a little bit about some shoulder issues that uh, we see a lot of times going on here at the gym. Uh, rotator cuff tendinitis and shoulder impingement are the two main things we see going on that affect people's ability uh, to do things in here. So I'm going to show you a couple basic tests that you can think through what's going on with you, what your problem is, if it's more of a muscular issue or it's more of a mobility impingement issue. And then we'll have some more things going on in the article that will go with this and some other videos showing you some things that you might be able to do to fix that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple rotator cuff strength tests first. A good way to test the rotator cuff in three steps. One, hold your arms here like this. Have somebody just come in and push from the side. Don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. Good hold. Any pain with that? So if you're having shoulder pain, this is a good place to start. Come in and test both sides just to hold. See if you've got good strength there. Test the external rotation of the rotator cuff. If that reproduces your pain by doing this at your side, lets us know rotator cuff's the direction for treatment. Next thing we're going to do to test the rotator cuff, the top muscle, the supraspinatus, we're going to put the arm here. It's an empty can position. If you're holding a drink, you pour it out. We're going to hold the shoulder stable here, and I'm going to push down. Got good strength there. Any pain with that? So if you've got good strength and no pain, you can feel pretty comfortable that the rotator cuff is in pretty good shape from a strength position. The other things we want to look at um, to combine those together, external rotation um, and the ability to hold that arm up is the, is the horn blower test. So we're going to hold up like you're playing a trumpet. We're going to hold right here. I'm going to push down towards the floor. Ability to hold those positions with the arm up and externally rotated at the same time is a good sign. So those would be our rotator cuff strength test. Two quick impingement tests we can do. If your shoulder's hurting, that doesn't reproduce the pain, and your pain's more when your arm's overhead or you feel like something's pinching. Two good tests we can look at to see if that's what's going on. One's the Hawkins Kennedy test. We can hold the, hold the wrist and the elbow, just relax for me. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of torque the, elbow, the arm up through here by raising the elbow and dropping the hand. And we're literally trying to pinch the shoulder and see if that reproduces pain. In a regular, a regular normal shoulder, that should be pain-free. If that reproduces your pain, you know there's some impingement going on, and we'll talk about how to fix that. The other impingement sign is what we call the near sign. So we turn the thumb down like the empty can. We hold the shoulder blade down and have somebody else. Just, I'm just going to relax you up. Bring that all the way up to the top. Get to that end range. Any pain with that? A little bit. A little bit. So that would be a positive impingement test. You can look at it actively when we hold it down and lift up. On your own, we can do that actively. We can see when we add some passive mobility, a little bit of limitation at the end range there, and a little bit of pain with that. So that'd be a positive test to give us a direction to work in um, as far as loosening up the shoulders.